All right, let's dive into kidney stones. Now, kidney stones, urolithiasis, and renal calculi all then mean the same thing. Renal calculi stone. Urolithiasis. Lithiasis is a stone in the urine system or kidney stone. All the same thing here, okay? So what it is, is you have a stone somewhere in your urinary system and uh, some may be in an easy spot where it's just in a bladder and then it may uh, be small enough that it can just pass on its own of course with some signs and symptoms or it can be more severe where it's blocking off a ureter like right here and what happens is that kidney is no longer able to excrete urine and you have urine backing up into this kidney and at that point you can have acute kidney injury in just this one kidney and this kidney is going to swell up a fluid called hydronephrosis and so uh, this will be a little bit more severe and uh, may require surgery, okay? So, risk factors for developing renal calculi. Abnormal pH levels in the urine, um, that may be due to a diet or maybe due to um, other things that are going on in the body. Okay, so acidic or alkaline. Urinary, uh, decreased amount of urine passing through the system uh, because the urine, as it's moving, is pushing everything out. It's keeping those stones from staying there. If, if there's no urine moving, the stone's just going to sit there and grow and grow and grow and get worse and become a stone. If you got it flushing through, it'll get rid of it. So if you have urinary retention, such as if you have uh, an elderly with BPH, which is benign prostate hyperplasia, uh, hypertrophy, which is uh, they're, they have trouble urinating, um, that could, or if they have a mobility and you're only peeing once every four hours, if you're a nurse like that, or if you're dehydrated and you're not really producing a lot of urine, um, that could put you at risk for developing these for kidney stones. So signs and symptoms. So you got this here, a stone in here, and they're not nice and smooth like a marble. These things have sharp pointy edges. You can have pain. They're called renal, renal colic pain or colicky pain. When I say colic, it means it's there and then it's gone and, and it's moving because the stones often is moving its way out of the system. If you feel it mostly in your flank, which is towards your back, then it's a sign it's probably still up here towards the kidneys. Okay? And they'll feel the pain moving, and once they start feeling it radiating towards, uh, towards the abdomen or towards the testicles or towards the vulva in, a, in women, then that's a sign that it's working its way out. Sometimes, however, if it's not going to move, it's just going to stay right there, and it's just going to keep swelling up that kidney, and all you're going to feel is flank pain until it gets taken out. Other signs... Um, Often these stones help hold on the bacteria because they're sitting in there and they're not getting washed out. So you may have signs like frequency um, where you've got urinating more often than normal. Or you may have dysuria, trouble getting urine out. You may only be getting out little bits of it because it's just what's working its way around the kidney stone. And with that pain, you might have nausea and vomiting and diaphoresis, which is sweating. And you may find hematuria, which is blood in the urine. And it may be visible. You may see smoky urine or bits of red tinged urine, okay? Diagnosis, when they have a patient, they're going to look at the history. Okay, this guy's got colicky pain. He's got a history of renal stones. Let's do your analysis. Okay, we see that there's some increased crystalloids in the urine, uh, maybe urinary tract infection because it puts them at risk for it. Uh, they're going to do a CT, MRI, or an X-ray called a KUB, kidney, uh, ureters, and bladder. They'll look right here. You know what? They see a kidney stone there. So what are they going to do? As a nurse, you're going to want to strain all the urine, and what you're doing is in case a stone comes out, you want to know. And it may be one stone, it may be a big stone, it may be multiple stones. Ambulate the patient as long as it's not contraindicated and get that stone moving just while they're moving. Increase the fluids. And when you increase the fluids, of course, if it's right here and they're planning for surgery because nothing's coming out of this kidney, don't do it. But if it's the doctor says to increase fluids, maybe IV or oral. Uh, pain medicine, which may include opioids, NSAIDs, or... Um, anti-bladder uh, spasm medicines, okay, like ditropan. Give them antibiotics if they have a urinary tract infection, okay? Now, if it can't come out and it's somewhere really in there, it's really big, and it's right up in there, you may need to do a lithotomy, which is removal of the urolithiasis, so removal of the stone, or they'll put a stent in which they'll widen that part of the kidney so that it can pass its way out. So that is treatment. As far as prevention, you want to make sure they, uh, if they, they analyze it in the diet, uh, there may be certain foods that they want to avoid with uric crystals or calcium phosphate crystals. So this is renal calculi.